They're just right there. Right there. Being extremely cautious. I haven't been up here since uh, last year. And I don't know exactly what these roads look like, if there's any new potholes or anything from the winter, big cracks, dirt, you know, I don't know exactly what's up here, some water that could be ice. So anyway, I'm taking it, uh, taking it very, very carefully. I'm not out trying to go crazy or anything, I'm just enjoying the day. There we go, road bikist and a held up car. The image of Colorado, that was. A man pedaling furiously in a car just stuck behind him. Huh. Okay. Mm. Oh! That was a blast of frigid air. Where'd that come from? Rocks. <sighs> a little bit of dirt and mud and stuff in every corner. Oh! Wow! Cold in the shade. Cold in the shade. Where's the sunshine? Where's my sunshine? so cold. It dropped like 15 degrees the second I hit here. I don't know if that's possible, but it happened. Sun! Oh, oh. Wow, that is actually crazy how fast it warms up. Like from the shade to the sun. is basically instantly. Keep out. I don't want to go in there anyway. I don't want to go on your land. I'll just go down here and go on another part of the mountain. You can keep your land. What's up, hey? Can-am spider. I wave because it still has handlebars, but inside I died a little. Look at the little tiny... Is that... That's fake. Oh, you tricked me, homeowner. You tricked me. I thought it was like an actual baby horse. And it, it wasn't. It was plastic. They lied to me. So in hindsight, bringing some gear that was conducive to colder weather would have probably been a good idea. Beautiful day. It'll be freaking fantastic. It'll be beautiful. No worries. No problems. And, uh... It's not. 30. Yeah, no whole problem. I don't think we're going to exceed that. So there, there's, there's taking it easy and enjoying your day, and, and then there's this. Slow. Real slow. So as a reference in a previous video, I was looking at uh, getting rid of this bike, and I went and sat on an FZ09. Because uh, I was looking at getting something cheaper, and FZ09s, like I, around here, there's four or five of them for sale for less than seven grand. That have you know 2,000 2,500 miles on them something like that really cheap really new low mileage they're apparently the darling of all motorcycledom right now I see videos about them constantly I went and sat on one and I uh, had my wife come along and the second that I got on it she just went no no back squatted about three inches um, from my weight which I know they have a mildly adjustable shock, I believe, so I could, you know, adjust the, the stiffness and dampening and everything on it. And, but the biggest thing was that I look like an ape on a tricycle. I've seen some videos on this topic about, you know, tall riders. I've seen, like, tall riders, short riders. And I, I haven't actually seen one that was done from the perspective of a tall person. I'm six foot four, and the, the issue that nobody talks about is that you can find a bike that you're comfortable on you can still look like a massive tool an adult on a kid's bike almost and it's not the bike wouldn't have enough power to deal with that it's not like it wouldn't you know be capable of doing what it needs to do road bikist part of the reason why you know you ride motorcycles and stuff is like yes yeah, for the enjoyment but you also know that you look pretty freaking awesome let's let's not let's not deny that you look good I'm trying to find like a naked bike, something a bit more upright. They're all tiny. Well, let me rephrase. The affordable ones are tiny. Things like the FC07, the FC09. I haven't seen an FC10, but they're also, there aren't any used ones on the market, so they're not really going to be that affordable. We're talking about like affordable ones that, that taller people can, can fit on and still look okay. We're talking, you know, the, the Triumph Speed Triple. And, you know, which is 14,000 to start. So much gravel. 
I gotta be very careful. This is, uh, this is like this little pea gravel sand stuff they put on the roads around here. And it just bunches up in corners. That's why I don't go quickly up here when I'm not used to the roads. I've, I've actually seen a uh, speed triple used, Triumph speed triple around here. It had 12,000 miles on it. And it was $10,000 still. 10000 which is just absurd for, you know, that kind of bike. And I've seen them for sale in other parts of the country cheaper. So I know that the prices around here aren't, you know, completely accurate to what they should be. So that's an example of, you know, a bike that a taller person could fit on that's just ludicrously expensive. And if you're talking new, I mean, you're talking like a KTM 1290. The, the Super Duke is, what, 17 grand? Might be able to find a deal for 15, 16. Uh, the Triumph Speed Triple, you're talking 14 to 16, depending on trim and, and spec and stuff. The uh, Ducati Monster 1200, which, again, I don't know about the other monsters size-wise. I'm not 100% certain if that one would really fit either. But... And these are things that a, a bigger person, such as myself, a taller person, can actually get on and not look out of place. You would think, like, for example, the Street Triple and Speed Triple would be really close, but they're not. I, I sat on a Street Triple, my wife was like, no, no, you look like an ape on a tricycle again. I sat on a Speed Triple, and she's like, yeah, that looks fine. You can't stay in your lane, like, you gotta cross lines. There is a size difference even within, you know, the same family of motorcycles. And it's, it's just like I had a, a CBR 600 that the frame felt much shorter on. I looked way too big for it. And it's, it's not that I was just scrunched up because, like, I'm going to be scrunched up on anything. I accept that. It was definitely a different seating position. The, the frame and everything was different. Uh, it felt like it was a different size. I looked bigger. I looked too big for it. Whereas, like, this one, I don't. Getting back to bikes that, you know, taller people could ride, like, I mean, really, you're looking at so the KTM 1290, the Triumph Speed Triple 1050, uh, I believe the Ducati Monster 1200, possibly the Ducati Street Fighter, uh, if they still make that. Again, Ducati, the DFL, and the XDFL, both of those. That's more of a cruiser and everything. So when you're talking about just a, you're just talking about like just more of a standard naked, you know, kind of bike, there's nothing out there for taller people. Things I can't speak for. I have not been on a Suzuki GSX-S1000. I have not been on a Kawasaki Z1000. I have not yet been on the FZ10. I think those are the only three. I think those are the only three I have not been on yet. Oh, ooh, I just felt it sliding. I gotta be very careful up here. That stuff, it's, it is so much more slick than you think it's going to be. By July, all this stuff will be off the roads because they, they put it down when it snows and not enough people drive up here to get it cleared off. And if you look, it's, it's basically in the line you would want to take out of the box. I haven't tried those, but the ones I have been on, the, the cheaper options and everything that I've been looking at, there's just nothing out there. So, ooh. Uh, this is not actually too much fun. Didn't expect there to be this much of this stuff, to be honest. I'm basically just coasting with the shadows from the trees and this stuff being everywhere. I'm pretty well just having to coast. If you're about my height and you're wanting to get a naked, standard, you know, kind of just upright chill bike where you can be comfortable, you have to spend 14 grand. Like, you may as well just write the check. There's no real way around it. And having realized that is why I decided I'm just keeping this. Because I don't have 14 grand. I'm just going to be slightly uncomfortable on longer rides. It's not the end of the world, I guess. Car. 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 Freedom! Maybe. Is it all gone? Is it all gone? Oh, something just caught my tire. Nope, not all gone. Oh, this road looks a bit more clear. Such clear water. Yeah. It's, it's cool.
because you have to. There's, there's a bunch of ice right there. It's way too early in the season to be up here. Came up here to like relax or whatever, and um, that gravel, pea gravel stuff, mag chloride, sand, chemical enhanced, who knows what that they throw on the roads is just slick beyond all slickness. Uh, I just completely fixated on that and it actually stressed me out a little bit. We're coming down an elevation to Weir. Who am I talking about Weir? It's me. Me. Just me. I'm alone. See? Alone. Alone. So I'm coming down in elevation. And it's starting to warm up a little bit. Pine cone? What was that? What do we have here? Do, 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 do. 